As we began talking about it in the previous training video on themes, Windows Arrow is a new theme to Windows Vista. It's more than just a color scheme with added sounds and other effects and icons, but actually provides you with a flip 3D view and a live preview, and I'll cover those in just a second. But first of all, we need to make sure that your Windows Vista is set up for Windows Arrow. By default, it should be turned on unless you don't have enough memory, in which case when you purchase your computer, they may have it turned off. But let's take a look. First of all, let's see if you have enough memory. Come down here, click on your Start button, Go up to your computer and right click and go down to properties. And you'll see right here memory, RAM, I have 8 gigabytes. Now the hardware requirements for Arrow is 512 megabytes of RAM or 1000 megabytes of RAM which equals 1 gigabyte of RAM. But they recommend that you have 1 gigabyte or more. So if you've got 2, 3 or 4 you're doing pretty good. So let me close out of here. Next we want to make sure that it's turned on. And we got to check two places. First of all we want to check the themes. Make sure that the Windows Vista theme is turned on. And to do that, just find a blank area here on your desktop. Now, in Windows Vista Level 2, I'm going to use all shortcuts. In Windows Vista Level 1, when we went to a certain screen, I showed you both a shortcut and a long way of doing it. Assuming that you're more familiar with it, I'm going to use shortcuts. So I'm going to right-click in a blank area here, go down to Personalize, and then in the Personalization screen, click on the Themes link. Opens it up. Now, this one says it's a modified theme or it's my current theme. As long as it's a derivative or a variation of the Windows Vista here, when I select it, that's OK. Meaning that Windows Vista was the original theme, but we just like changed the background here from this light blue, green, and yellow here to a dark blue, as you can see right here. That's fine. Just make sure it's not selected as Windows Classic or something else. So that's the first thing. Click Cancel. The next thing is to go to our Color and Appearance, click on Open Classic Appearance Properties, and making sure that the color scheme we have here is defaulted to Arrow not Vista Basic or anything else. Because again, Windows Arrow is going to provide us with live preview and a flip 3D preview. It's kind of cool. Let me close out of here and close out of there. I have three websites open down at the bottom. The live preview means that when I hover over a website that's been minimized, for example this one, this button, you can see a little live preview down below. Over here, Disney. And then over here, Video Training Pro. So when I maximize it, maximize it all the way up to the top here. You can see it here, but when you minimize it and you have Windows Arrow on, you can do the live preview and get just a little idea by hovering over each one of these buttons or minimize web pages. It also works for applications. If you have Excel or Word or PowerPoint open, you can obviously, when you have it minimized here, hover over it and it'll give you a preview of that as well. The other one that you can use when you have Arrow turned on is the Flip 3D Preview, meaning that I can go ahead and flip through each one of these documents or web pages or PowerPoint presentations, any program that I have open in 3D. You can do it one of two ways. You can come down in here and click on, see I have extra icons you don't see here, that's why I have the double arrows there. Windows Vista Level 1, we went over it. Click on it. You can come up here and go switch between windows. Click on that. Automatically opens up that Flip 3D Preview. Once it's open, I can see the three-dimensional of my desktop, of the other three web pages. All I have to do to toggle through these is I can just hit the tab key, and it goes from one to the next. And then click on the one I want, and it brings it up. The other way you can do it is hold down the Windows logo key on your keyboard. It looks just like this Start button here, but it's in black and white. So go ahead and hold that down. And when you hold it down, go ahead and hit your tab key once, and it initiates the Flip 3D preview, and then just and then just keep the Windows key down and hit the tab key once, twice, three times to toggle through it. When I get to one that I want to be on, like Disney, like this is the one up at the front here, the top, let go of the Windows key, and it brings it right up here. And I can maximize it, and there it is. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.